former NFL offensive lineman, now a Fox Sports Radio weekend host, our man Ephraim Salam. What up, man? What's happening? Is he there, Ephraim? Are we? Yeah, I'm here. You get oh, me? Oh, okay. Me? I wasn't sure if we were having problems because we're in the new studios. Yeah, and, man. Um, everything new. Everything new ain't better. I can just tell you that. <laughs> not yet. I'm sure it will be, but not yet. Um, yeah, they got to work the kinks out. Speaking of new, Ephraim, there's a new quarterback in New York, and his name is Aaron Rodgers. And I'm watching ex-coaches and ex-players talk about Aaron Rodgers like he's still – the defending MVP, and not a guy that's soon to be 40 coming off of his worst season in his 15 years as a starter. Um, how do you think – do you think – how do you think this trade will work out for the Jets? Let's put it that way. Well, I think the Jets will be better at the quarterback position because I don't know if you can get any worse at the quarterback position right. uh, than they were last year. You know, and despite that, they still were in a position to possibly make the playoffs uh, in, in December. So, uh, of course, it's going to work out for them in that in that way. Will it be worth it, what they had to give up for? It? Now, that's a different conversation because, you know, like you said, Aaron Rodgers was not the Aaron Rodgers of two years ago. He seemed uninterested. He seemed... Wishy washy, uh, you know, he's into a lot of different things off the field. Uh, he doesn't like to commit in the off season to being around the program and younger players. If he comes into New York with that same attitude, then it'll be a problem. But if he's there for OTAs to get to know his teammates, which I suspect he should be, I know he's never been on another team, but normally you would do that if you go to another team. Um, there's some comfortability there with Nathaniel Hackett, but he still needs to, you know, get to know the guys and, and build a rapport, especially with the receivers tight end. Um, but, but look, the days of Aaron Rodgers, in my opinion, of being the MVP caliber Aaron Rodgers, I think they're gone. And the reason I say that is because attitude and leadership. Those are the two things that we've questioned, uh, not his abilities, but his attitude and his leadership. You have you've had guys come out of Green Bay and and and, and say, well, you know, he, you know, Aaron is not, you know, the best leader when it comes to being that guy. It's funny you say that because Greg Jennings will could defend him till the cows come home, and he played with them. So it's well, interesting that you're saying that he's not a great leader. Who who said that? He from? Can you give me a, who said that? He, that he he's, he's not a great. You, I'm just asking. He's about to say. Yeah, yeah, so the, 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 like, I knew you, Greg Jennings is the one guy, literally, who will defend him. And, and we all have those, those guys. We all have those guys. Like those, I have teammates who will go to bat for me, but I have other teammates who are like, yo, man, Ethan was this, Ethan was that. I get, that's, just, that's part of the business. That's part of uh, – you can't – everybody's not going to like everybody. What I'm talking about is when you seem like you don't – Care, right? Did he and not care? Did he not that, care the year before uh, when he won the MVP or the year before? Or is it is it his whole career or just last year? That's what no, I want to no, no, get no, from no. you. When when has he not last, been a leader? Last, last year, last year last or his whole year, career? Well, well, leadership starts in the. Office. I'm asking you. you but, but that's what I'm. I'm trying to explain it to you, man. You first of all, your why is your mic so loud and everybody else's mic? Is, is, <laughs> I'm in New York. I have no idea. We, Alex, is my oh, mic okay. too we, loud? We what do I need to do? Because, because it sounds like you're yelling at me, and I'm not about to be yelled at by <laughs> All right, then hang up. If you don't, if you don't want to be no, pushed hey, back, man, hang look, up. Look, look, hang look, up, look, Ephraim. Look, you don't have to be on. Oh, hang up. Oh, 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 he got he got one of the, he's, he's one of those most. Hey, hey, look, Chris. You got one or the other. Answer the question or hang up. I, I, if you got I a problem, destroyed you got him in the LeBron James uh, conversation. Okay, no, he so you got to me at all. You got to give me a heads up. That's what it is. You it ain't that. You guys, him. both of you guys are the same guy. Like you think everything you say is gospel. Actually, we're not the and same guy. And people can't we're push too, back we're, on we're, you. We're not. We're, we're not you you the can't. You talking about he's he's not a leader or people. And Green Bring Bay some. said he's not a leader. Who? I, I I went by Greg Jennings, who played with the guy and won a Super Bowl with 
them. And every time people push back and make these statements, he's the first one to say that ain't the case, that he was in the locker room with the guy. So I'm asking you, it wasn't his whole career or last year. Let me ask you this. Devontae Adams, who's arguably one of the best receivers in the league, right? Devontae Adams left Aaron Rodgers for Derek Carr. And he said himself that, yeah, I'd rather be with Derek Carr than Aaron Rodgers. I don't remember Correct? that quote. I need to see no, that, Can no, you send what, it to me? Yeah, that's what it was. That, I never that, saw that it, quote. Never saw but, it. But, but, but that's what it was. So when you have guys. No, I want to see the quote. I want you to send it to me when you Google it. Send me that quote because he never said that. You, you want me to send you the quote? Yes. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll send you the quote. Rob, uh, 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 Chris, you can't be scorching him like that and then bringing me on. You know, I, I, I like to, I like to be in the studio. These panties and are in a bunch. That way, that Did way, I, I don't. I know this dude. This that red. He's boy. He's on. We in the new studio. Oh, he's not. He's not in the new studio, so he doesn't know. Did you he's bring up probably, Bakhtiari too? Yeah, they. I mean, they like that, that, those two are go hand. I'm surprised he didn't make the Jets. You know, sign him. Um but what what I'm saying is, look, leadership to me starts in the off season, right? And we've seen over the years, guys and quarterbacks, guy. The only reason you, the only way you can get chemistry with younger players is to be with the younger players. Is Tom Brady a great leader? And that, and, 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 Tom and that's Brady a great leader. Some, and that's Without not question. something that Aaron Rodgers has done because he doesn't do the off season. He doesn't want to do it. I'm not making Tom Brady that up. missed two weeks of, reg- of of training camp. Is that a good leader One or not? Time I'm just in asking. Twenty you. years. One no, time I'm in asking 20 you. Years. That was last year. Is he a good and leader? And that's why he had. And that's why he had the year he had. It all goes hand in hand, man. Especially at the quarterback position, you can't half in, half out the quarterback position. And I was extremely critical of Tom Brady last summer because of those reasons. But you, it's it's a, it's an all in or all out type of situation. When you halfway in and halfway out, you have the seasons like Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady had. This is I'm not making this up. Where do You're, you have the quarterback is supposed to be the stabilizing factor on the team, especially offensively? That's all the, I'm saying. The odds have the uh, Jets with the fourth best chance to win the Super Bowl in the AFC. Kansas City, Cincinnati, Buffalo, the Jets. Where do you rank the Jets in the AFC East? Uh, right I think they're. I, I, I think they're. Um, I would. I would say they're the third team, just based on 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 history and talent. We're we're speculating that Aaron Rodgers and the New York Jets, with all their young talent, which they do, they're loaded. They got it going. I, I, I like Robert Sala. I know him as a coach. I've had him as a coach. I know what, t- what type of uh, coach he is in the locker room with the players. Um, but we're speculating that it's going to just go seamless. Aaron Rodgers is going to be able to come in, pick it up, and they're just going to pick up where they left off but better at the quarterback position. But we haven't seen that. So with that said, I'll give the, the nod to uh, Buffalo and then to, to, to Miami – based on if Tua is, is available and he's healthy. All right. That is our man, Ephraim Salam. Hey, Rob, and, uh, I love you, man. I, I wanna, <laughs> the next time I see you, man, I want to hug you, man. No, you don't have to <laughs> hug me. <laughs> you need, you need hey. more love in your life. No, I don't. I'm, I'm good. I have a, I have okay. a great family, and they love me, and they cherish I'm me. I'm your family. I'm, and I'm very, you, very happy. Okay. I'm the most well-rounded and happy guy you'll ever meet. Well, you think because well, I, don't know because I have a what? sports take, you think I have something else going on in life. You, could be, you couldn't be know, more man. wrong about me. Life is great. Look, at, look, look, and the fact Life that you get great. defensive now, the fact that you get to further proves my point. Hey, man, have some chamomile tea. Take some time, <laughs> some basketball on. Just relax, man. Just All relax. right, thank you, Ephraim. Ephraim, by the way, will be filling in for Rob. When, when you're oh, off, Rob, yeah. next week? Is it next week? Oh, yeah. But in May. Yeah, at vacation. some point in May. I, yeah, I, I, I can't wait to get in there, boy. All I right. can't wait to get in there. I'm going to have to beat you down like I did, Rob. You're going to be on, salty, man. too. You know you know, I'm not an easy <laughs> win, okay? All you right, got to pick it up. We appreciate you, man. We'll talk to you next week. 
Absolutely. It's all love. I love y'all, man. Y'all stay safe. You too, bro.